Hi ladies, check out this fun card that I made in 10 minutes or less. And you want to remember to do the inside in the envelope also. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. For today's card, I'm going to be using Beautiful Day. I'm specifically going to be using the butterfly. I need a clear block that has nothing on it. I'm going to be inking it up. I have a piece of shimmery white cardstock that is three by four. I have a piece of Melon Mambo that's three and a half by four and a half. And I have a piece of Coastal Cabana that's three and three fourths by four and four and three fourths. Trying to keep them all straight. I have my card base, which is Whisper White. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored it four and a fourth. I have my envelope. I'm going to be using some of the glitter enamel dots. I have Memento Black Ink. I have Coastal Cabana, Melon Mambo, and Mango Medley. And I have a spray bottle of water. Now, this is messy. So you need to make sure you have something underneath to protect your surface. So let me get that. Okay. And I have folded this in half. What you're going to do is you're going to take your ink pads, pushing it instead of opening it up. All right. And you want to add some ink to your block. And I'm not mixing them because I don't want to um, mess up my pad, but you'll see that they will mix. All right. And the amount that you put on is strictly your choice. Now, what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to spritz this with water very heavily. And like I said, it gets really messy. All right. What I have to do now is I flip it over and set it down. And what I did was, when I flipped it over, I flipped it over here so if there's any ink that drips off, it goes there, all right? Um, and I'm gonna put this down and I'm going to smear it top to bottom. I wanna clean this off so that I can do the other piece over here. Since I have a lot of yellow here, I'm going to take, and I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to use just my Melon Mambo. It's actually Mango Medley, it's not yellow. I'm not going to use the Mango Medley. And I need some of the Coastal Cabana. Oops, it's stuck. All right. As you saw, it did mix in, but because of the um, you know, you don't have to get it there so that you don't ruin your um, ink. All right, and I'm going to smear it that way. Ooh, look at that way. That. Now, this has to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the heat tool, and then I'll clean this up and be back. My cardstock is dry and my area is dry too. So now I'm going to take my butterfly and my Memento Black ink and I'm going to ink up my butterfly. And I know you're thinking this does not take 10 minutes. It really only took me a few minutes to clean up and we're almost done. Oops, I missed a spot right there. Might be something on my stamp. All right. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to stamp this in the middle of my paper. And I'm going to give it a few minutes for the ink to transfer because I want a good image. I'm hope and pray I get it. Not bad. Not bad. Um, you know, if you'd used, if I had the Stamparatus, I could have you know, used it again. But it's okay that it's this way to me. Um, I can fix it easily with a black pen. I'm not gonna do it, but 
when I take the picture, you'll see. I will do it afterwards. So I'm gonna put the card together so that you can see. It only took me 10 minutes. Now, this was wet, so we've gotta use the tear and tape on the back so that it will lay flat. Sometimes it takes longer to put the tape on the back than it does to make the actual card. This is when the Stamparatus would be perfect, but I don't have the Stamparatus. And I'm not planning on getting it anytime soon because with my move, the less I have to move, the better. So I have to wait on some things. So I'm gonna make sure my ends are down and I'm gonna use my pokey tool to take off my backing, like so. And if you don't want as much color on yours, um, don't put as much on a block. Um, set it down and take it up real quick. You know, there's lots of things you can do to play with it and see how, what works or what you like. Not necessarily what works, but what you like. All right, now this one goes on the Melon Mambo and I'm going to center it. And as you see, it's, A little bit larger than the picture and then this is going to go on here because I wanted to pull in some color so I'm going to attach this one to here I'm really liking this all right and then this is going to go on our card base and this is a simple card it's not an elaborate card um, if you want ribbon you can add ribbon um, and I'm gonna keep it flat it's off a little so I'll flip it over I'm gonna keep it flat because if I decide I want to add a ribbon when I take the picture I can um, actually you know what might look really cool is the black baker's twine. Let me get some. Since I've already got the glue on the back, I'm gonna do a little bit of judging and pray I get it long enough. All right. Now, what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna put this across my card and then I'll put this down like so. And before it sets up too much, I'll pull it so that I can put a bow right here. And I have just enough. Um, there it goes. tie my bow pull my ends because my bows too big I like little bows all right now I'm gonna trim my ends oh I shouldn't be using that should be using my resume ribbon scissors all right there we go okay now that we have our ribbon on it's time for some gl um, glitter dots I wish we had these in other colors. Oh man, I am just such a glitter freak. All right, this is Melon Mambo and this is um, Coastal Cabana. So I'm going to take a large Melon Mambo and sometimes it's best if you pick this up and bend it and get your pokey tool underneath. And I think I'm gonna put that one up there since there's no red or melon up there and let me get a smaller um, coastal cabana and give me a small melon mambo 
there we go. What do you think, ladies? And we did the inside and the envelope. It doesn't look as good as this. I really like this. I like these colors. Don't be surprised if you don't see them more often. I hope you enjoyed my video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Feel free to share. Show everybody how great cards can look just by playing. Have a great day.